At Bart's Charity, we work alongside the five hospitals that form part of Bart's Health, together with Bart's and the London School of Medicine and Dentistry. We support care excellence in East London, but also fund world-leading medical research. We're really proud to be awarding more grants than ever before in our history. This is small project grants that might be of use today. Then there are multi-million pound, multi-year programme grants, which will have an impact on medical treatments locally, nationally and internationally. The pandemics shone a really harsh light on the inequalities that are in our society. It's clear that those who are most disadvantaged economically are also the ones who are suffering the most from a health perspective. Bart's Charity has granted more than £7 million in Covid support. What we have found is that the staff have borne the greatest burden. So what we've tried to focus our, our support on has been them, giving them world-class psychological support where they need it, well-being centres where they can go and rest and recuperate. We want those well-being hubs to be a permanent feature of the hospitals as a bit of a statement of a gratitude for all of the service that they've given. We've been able to invest more than £2 million in COVID-related research, so that might be why certain groups of people are particularly badly affected, what the role of vitamin D may have, and also the impact on the pandemic on nurses who are only just beginning uh, on the journey of their careers. Well, the first phase of the Barts 900 campaign has two important projects at its heart, to create a breast cancer centre, and to build a world-class clinical research facility. A clinical research facility is a very specialised area designed to deliver quite complicated clinical trials, often drug trials, that, where patients need extra monitoring or extra scrutiny. And so you need a specialist area that allows you to deliver that research to the highest possible standard. We currently do have some very small clinical research facilities, but not only are we space limited in terms of the number of patients we can look after in a drug trial in any given day, we're actually limited on the types of trials that we can do. If a patient needs to stay overnight to be monitored, for example, we can't do that kind of trial. We want to be playing a leadership role in delivering fantastic clinical research for patient benefit. And we know from COVID, you look at the recovery trial, for example, that trial was the world leading defining trial in how to treat patients with COVID-19. And that's the power of research. What we envision will be certainly the, the biggest clinical trial facility in the southeast of England, if not in the UK. And that's going to make us the go-to place for researchers with new trial innovations, new drug innovations that they want to study, or maybe big pharmaceutical companies that have got a very innovative new drug that they want to test. Traditionally, research is often recruited from white middle-class populations and without exploring the benefits and the harms of those drugs in other groups of patients, we don't necessarily know that they will work as well or that they're as safe. And so for a trust that is based in a very multi-ethnic part of East London, it's a very important contribution for us to offer those opportunities for patients to take part in clinical trials. And that's only going to make modern drug treatments of the future more beneficial for the whole of our population. Well, I got rheumatoid arthritis about 10 years ago, uh, and the consultant tried the normal drugs. Uh, they didn't seem to have much effect wasn't aware of things like trials and stuff beforehand. You know, it's, it's only when you need something, you, you find out everything about it. But what I did find was, uh, you know, complete professionalism. It made me feel very, very comfortable. And the drug worked, thankfully. Um, and that's what I've been on for, for the last 10 years. I get uh, quite emotional, actually. Because if I hadn't found the cure for this, I don't know if it's worth living. It just highlights how important trials are. This is a once in a generation opportunity to bring together different groups of healthcare professionals under one umbrella and build a world-class breast cancer centre for patients in East London. It doesn't currently exist. We're gonna build new theatres, new wards, new outpatient facilities, 
So patients come in, and instead of having multiple appointments, you come in, you have a biopsy, you get your radiology, you see a doctor, you see a nurse, all on the same day, rapid turnaround of pathology. Then the next part of the pathway is seeing the oncologist and the surgeons and the radiotherapy doctors all together. And the really important thing that comes with that is it attracts other people to work in that world-class center. So the goal is to save thousands of patients' lives over the next few decades in this really important disease. I had previously ticked a box at my local hospital agreeing to treatment that was palliative. And here I was at St. Bart's just three weeks later signing a piece of paper that was looking to cure me. The biggest relief is knowing that there is a plan. One of the toughest parts of cancer treatment is waiting to hear what your destiny is from those results. The Breast Cancer Centre is going to take away so much pain and so much panic um, for young ladies um, to think that, that they can be diagnosed within the same day is just an amazing service.